Hey everyone, welcome to a new video on Sketch and Mesh Design. If you are a beginner designer or if you are struggling to use Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop to make designs and create attractive designs, then this video is for you. Because today I'm going to show you how you can create attractive designs using online tools without the need to have background expertise or design experience to create such designs. So in today's video, we're going to uh, make this design in front of you. We're going to need a platform for designing and we are going to uh, need graphics to create the main image of our design and a mockup generator. So for the platform for designing today, we're going to use Kittle. And uh, for those of you who do not know Kittle, Kittle is a browser-based online platform for designers, which has many ed editable templates that you can use for designing. And I've started to use it more often and often because of the um, features that has been added to Kittle and because of the great quality of designs that it has been providing. So um, it doesn't need a, a software to install. It's completely online and it has uh, a free plan that you can try. I'll leave a link in the description for you if you are interested to try Kittle. Then we are going to need graphics for our design and of course Kittle. It has lots of graphics. You can still use Kittle for designing for uh, your own graphics. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use graphics for Mid Journey because I was looking for some specific style that I could not find on Kittle. So uh, for the graphics, we are going to use Mid Journey. And for the mockup generator, we are going to use also Kittle because Kittle has also a added a mockup um, generator to its own platform which adds to the advantages of Kittle as a complete design tool for designers. So let's head to Midjourney. This is the prompt that I used to create the raccoon image for the design. Uh, the prompt is in front of you. If you don't know how to use Midjourney, there is a complete course that I have published on Skillshare that you can uh, check for free if you sign up through the link in the description. It's a complete AI course talking about how you can design using Midjourney and other AI platforms. And of course, as you know, Midjourney generates four images at the beginning. So the, these are the images that were generated when I used this prompt. And I decided to upscale the raccoon image at the, the right, the top right corner. So if you, we head now to the Kittle platform and click on a new project, I'm going to add the dimensions in inches. I'm going for this tutorial, I'm going to use 15 inch by 18 inch. And then if you go to the upload section, on the left side, you can upload the image that you have downloaded from your Midjourney platform or any other image that you would like to upload. So I'm going to upload the Raccoon image and place it on the artboard by clicking on it. So as you can see, the Raccoon image has a black background, so I'm going to use the AI background remover from uh, uh, Kittle to remove the background. However, the resu result is not perfect as there are some black parts that were re also removed from the hands of the Raccoon. And until now, uh, unfortunately, the AI background remover uh, tool does not give you the option to edit the result on Kittle. So I'm gonna use Pixlr. It's a free online tool. I'm going to use it to edit the uh, background of my raccoon. So just go to Pixlr, open the image and 
check, click on the magic wand tool play with the tolerance tolerance to 32 and click on the background of your image like so then i'm going to choose remove from selection tool and i'm going to go over the raccoon to unselect the parts that i want to keep on my image which are all the black color that is inside the uh, raccoon like so this will remove the black color from the selection and when you're happy with the final result just click on delete on your keyboard and the black color will be removed from the background as you can see so if we add another layer and fill it with white you can see that the result is much better now so i'm going to use the eraser tool to erase any extra parts of the image that i don't need and i'm still on pixlr by the way pixlr is completely free you're not going to need to pay anything to use it and then i'm going to delete my white layer and save as png now let's head back to kittle and upload the uh, new raccoon image without the background now it looks much better fits the design so using the elements tab on the left side i'm going to search for paint splash to use for the background of my image so this one looks nice however it is uneditable i cannot change its color so i'm gonna use this one as you can see there is an option to change the color of this one from the right menu so i'm gonna pick the green color of the jacket of the raccoon and using the layers panel i'm gonna move i'm gonna name it paint splash and move it to the back like so now let's start to add some text to our design my main text reads uh, keep your mind keen this is the first part of the text I'm going to use this font of course Kittle has great fonts for uh, your design especially the heritage gothic style fonts but this one is a model for font I think it fits my design better I'm gonna change its color also using the uh, menu on the right And then I'm going to uh, write the word Keen using a script font. Then using the effects panel, I'm going to add an outline to the uh, word Keen. I'm going to change its color to black. Now it looks more visible. And I'm going to do the same 
to my main keep your mind text I'm gonna also add an outline change its color and play with the outline width yeah now it looks cool okay let's add additional text Now I'm going to add texture to my design, also using the uh, left menu. So just click on the texture, tap and choose the one that you like. Once you click on it, it will be placed automatically on your artboard. Um, I'm going to play with the texture a little bit and clip it to my design so that it's it doesn't go outside the main image now I'm going to search for some stars to add to the design I like this one and also I'm going to add some decorative lines Now I would like to create some shadows behind the raccoon and the splash effect. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate the raccoon image and play with the colors of the back copy. So now we have two copies of the raccoon, as you can see. So I started to play with the modes of the back copy to create this shadow effect behind the raccoon. Now it looks cool. And for the front copy of the raccoon, I started to play with the color settings a little bit to create a contrast of the green color. I think it looks better now. So this is the final design. So using the mock-up setting, I'm going to place the design on a t-shirt mock-up using one of Kittle's t-shirts, like so. And if you like the mock-up, you can download it using the download button.
and then you can go back to uh, the editor to the download to download your final design you can also download it you can increase the dpi to 300 and download it in a png make sure to highlight the remove background and optimize quality buttons and there you have it if you enjoyed the video please hit the like and subscribe button and see you in future tutorials thanks for watching